Hey, what's up everybody? This is just a test to see uh, if the sound is working properly and mic check one, two, one, two, mother Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Giorgio and I'm a software engineer in Japan. I'm passionate about teaching and yeah, who knows? Who the knows, huh? I enjoy teaching, so if Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Giorgio and I'm a software engineer working in Japan. I created this channel to attempt to explain things that were quite difficult for me to understand starting out to beginners. I know that when I was learning, I had a difficult time understanding CS theory because I couldn't really pinpoint where it would actually be applied. I think kind of tying those things together can really help you get a general understanding of the way that things work in computer science and software engineering as a whole. I'm very much interested in breaking concepts down into individual parts in order to attempt to make them more comprehensible. I know that when I was learning certain concepts, I would learn certain portions of the concept in isolation, so it'd be kind of difficult for me to understand how one part of a concept may relate to another part of a concept. I, I kind of couldn't piece things together because I had a lack of understanding of the overall picture. So when I found resources that kind of brought everything together, that's when the aha moment kind of happened in my head. If I can bring people to that aha moment in understanding a concept, I feel like that that's hugely beneficial. I know that those moments for me were the moments that I felt that I wanted to continue and I, I believed in myself more the more those moments came. Anyways, so I hope that I can make content that's useful to somebody out there. And yeah, so if you find yourself struggling and feeling, I don't know, doubtful and feeling like maybe you're not smart enough or you're not good enough to be able to understand some of these things. I think you should hold off on, on that thought because it's not actually as difficult as it seems starting off. If you're struggling with the initial learning curve, just understand that if you're persistent, then eventually you come to some sort of general understanding of the way that everything works. And with that general understanding, you're more able to understand increasingly difficult concepts as time goes on because at the end of the day, learning is cumulative. So sometimes you might think that you can't understand something because maybe you don't have the aptitude or you're not smart enough to understand it, but it's more a matter of if you can't understand something, maybe there's something within that concept that you haven't learned yet. So it's time for you to go deeper and attempt to understand the entire concept at a more segmented level. So yeah, if you're struggling out there and you feel like things are hopeless and you feel like maybe this isn't for you, I would encourage you to stick with it a little bit longer. If it's something that you're passionate about, stick with it indefinitely because you will come to an understanding if you're passionate about it. And if it's not something that you're passionate about, it's really something that you have to figure out for yourself. A little bit about me, I did not major in computer science. I didn't take any computer science classes in undergrad. I graduated from UCLA with a degree in African American history and political science. So yeah, everything that I teach and everything that I know, I've learned on my own. I'm completely self-taught. A lot of things that I know I learned on the job. In terms of actual concepts and computer science theory, I learned all of this by finding resources on my own, reading books on my own. Yeah, so if you're a person struggling, wondering if it's necessary for you to actually have majored in computer science to work in this field, I'm here to tell you that you can work in this field without having a degree in this field if you have the necessary knowledge. So yeah, if you're a person that's wondering if it's possible to work as a software engineer without having a degree in computer science, then yes, it's definitely possible. It does take a lot of work and a lot of discipline because you have to learn all of these things on your own. There's no system that's holding you accountable. It's just something that you need to do on your own. So it's probably absolutely necessary that you're at least somewhat passionate about it because if you're not, it's probably going to be very difficult to maintain enough discipline to continue to study. In my experience, the more passionate people are, 
usually the people that are more successful in this field because regardless of whether or not you majored in computer science in college, uh, if you're passionate about something, you're going to learn everything that you need to learn to be successful in that particular field because it's something that you're passionate about. More interested in creating a body of work that people can reference to maybe understand concepts that are very commonly applied in software engineering in general. At the end of the day, if I can help even one person understand a concept more clearly, uh, in my opinion, that will have made things worth the time investment. 